Today we learned the names of the two people on board that ill-fated flight. I talked to the father of one of those men, 41-year-old Larry Marchioni. He lived in Baldwinville, Massachusetts, not far from here. His dad tells me his son was an experienced pilot. In fact, was training to become a commercial pilot. Well, earlier this afternoon, aviation students from that same flight school came here to see what happened. Very strange, why, why did it happen? Clayton Matthews came to see for himself the multifamily home that a small aircraft crashed into early Friday night, moments after takeoff, killing both men on board. It's hard to take in. It's shocking. It, it looks like it hit hard. The surveillance video taken from a building next door catches the aftermath of the plane as it explodes into the building. Clayton says he trains on Beechcraft Sierra aircraft nearby at Monadnock Aviation, similar to what went down in Keene. Although he did not know the two men on board personally, this story hits home. On my path to be a pilot, it doesn't stop me from wanting to. It's just, it's a very rare thing. It's safer to fly than drive my car around. So, I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking um, to lose two pilots and, you know, I don't know them. But my, my thoughts and, and prayers to the families and everyone. Witnesses tell us it is a miracle that no one living inside that building was hurt, but construction experts tell us today that old post and beam construction you're looking at likely kept this building from completely being engulfed in flames. As for the NTSB, they expect to have a cause of this crash sometime early next year. Live in Keene, New Hampshire, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5.